Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. This man kicked out his grandfather who seemed like a tramp, not knowing that five days later this would happen. Lewis was always happy because he spent pleasant moments with his family. He could never imagine what he would do if something happened to them. Since he was a child, he was someone who always cared about others. He could not see that someone or something is wrong at school. If a friend felt bad or sad, he would come and comfort him, listen to what was happening and invite them to play with him so that he would feel a little better. In the same way with animals, he was a young man with a pure heart, always doing what he could for others. When Lewis reached eight years old, his family moved to the city and all his uncles. Also, they left his grandpa alone. Lewis did not agree with what happened to his grandfather, who was insulted by his children, and he visited him in his country house every weekend and spent most of the time with him. He also refused to stay with his parents during the holidays and he preferred to spend his time with his grandfather. Grandpa Robert was very happy because his grandson loved him so much. As his grandfather told him every time that he would give him all his inheritance when he died. When Lewis went to high school, things changed as he was bullied and mocked by other students, which made the boy aggressive and very violent to fade the goodness of his heart and become selfish. The boy's behaviour changed and some teenagers who were addicted to drugs went out to party and drink alcohol. Lewis had not visited his grandfather recently. He acted like other addicts. The grandfather at first thought what was happening was his grandson's teenage behaviour, but the situation was getting worse day after day until Lewis became a hallucinogenic addict and he never visited his grandfather. Robert enrolled at university and began not to care about his classes, just as he was dating a young woman there and began sleeping with her. And when his grandfather heard what was happening, he went to visit him and told him that what he was doing was not good and that he would destroy his life and inevitably enter prison if he still acted like an idiot. When the grandfather finished his words, Lewis felt very angry and told his grandfather that he hated him. His grandfather threatened that he would change his will if he continued this behaviour. The young man became very angry and said to him, You are a curse. Then he left the place and left the grandfather alone shocked. The grandfather stayed sitting on the chair in his yard for four days and did not move from his place. He was waiting for his grandson to come back and ask for forgiveness after what he did to the old man. On the fifth day, Robert died in his place and no one found him until two days later when a neighbour came to visit him and found him dead on his chair. When Lewis learned of the news of his grandfather's death, he was greatly shocked and completely collapsed where he kept crying for several days and remembered the last words that his grandfather told him. All that was left that the young man remembered were those beautiful days he spent with his grandfather. It was one of the most beautiful times in his life. Two days after Robert's death, a lawyer and grandpa's children and grandchildren came to show them the will he'd left. The grandfather left most of his fortune to his grandson Lewis and wrote in the will that he was sure that his grandson, whom he loved so much, would change over time and that he would not only forgive him if he abandoned those bad habits and returned to a good person as before. Lewis left all those shameful behaviours and decided to be diligent in his studies and moved to live in the house where his grandfather was living. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.